Oh, hello, Internet. It's your old beard buddy, Jed Whitaker here from Destructoid.com, amongst other places. And I'm here to take a look at the early access title, Swing Star, that just released on the Oculus Home Store and uh, apparently Gear VR. And I have a press release that we were sent here. Now, I just want to read this to you. Exhilarating or nauseating, question mark. Virtual reality is an extremely immersive medium and manufacturers want to make sure everyone has a good experience so player comfort is high on the priority list. Swingstar VR breaks some manufacturer guidelines all in the name of fun. The third person rope swinging physics puzzler puts players through a wild ride, accelerating the players they swing. Players feel momentarily out of control but ultimately find the experience pleasurable. And it is $2.99 on Gear VR and $4.99 on Oculus Early Access. Let me let me just reread that one little sentence part of the sentence there. Or one sentence. Swingstar VR breaks some manufacturer guidelines. All in the name of fun. So uh, I have no high hopes for this game. I feel like it's probably gonna make me sick and I'm going to regret even making this video, but let's go. I guess it is all controlled via your head. I just had to use the controller there. Touch and hold bell. Don't let go. Okay, so I do have to use the controller. I do have to use the controller there. Swing on crate. Already <laughs> feeling a little queasy and we've barely moved. <laughs> was literally the second level. Alright. You can see the graphics. Not that advanced. All in the name of fun, remember. This is all in the name of fun. I just want to close my eyes at times. Have you guys had that experience with VR? Those of you that have headsets. Have you had the experience of, I just want to close my eyes because I feel like I'm going to get ill. Oh, this knock me out. This bounced my head off the ground. I guess you just have to grab the bell. Like, oh, we only had 40% health. We can't go on with just two stars. We better, we better play it more safe here. Nailed it. Piece of cake. I don't know if you can like pull yourself up by pressing up on objects. Honestly, so far, at first I felt a little queasy, but so far, not terrible. Oh, uh, maybe terrible. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, like... It's almost kind of like that feeling of, like, when you go over a hill real fast in the car. Well, you grab jelly to go in on it. Oof. It's definitely a wee bit nauseating. I uh, was at PAX East and I went to the o Oculus Talk and Ocu it was Oculus Alienware Epic. And they, I believe it was the guy from Epic who actually said, you know, there's guidelines out there for do's and don'ts of what you should do as far as making a game in VR to keep people from getting ill. Alright, so now I'm having some trouble aiming here because I can't find out where the fuck is the bell? You know, fuck it. Let's let go. Who gives a shit. <laughs> we start. This got totally turned around there. Why wouldn't you just go this way? It would be so much easier. Oh, that's why. But yeah, they gave a talk and they're like, yeah, there's definitely guidelines, do's and don'ts that we figured out of what you should and should not do for VR to make people ill. And one thing that he specifically mentioned, which I apologize, I forget his, his exact name. Very certainly it was the guy from uh, Epic that was there. Um, one thing that he mentioned was... Uh, 
uh, first person shooter controls, people usually don't do well with them, which I personally, so far, the only game that I've played that uses it is Albino Lullaby, and I did get sick while I played that. We're not even a bother going for three stars on this game. I don't know if we got any stars there, I couldn't tell. Honestly, this is not as bad as I expected, though. I don't know where my point was going, other than, you know, there's definitely some do's and don'ts for practice, like, practices. Uh, one of the big things that they talked about was uh, how some games have taken this. See, this is what makes you feel sick, is when you have, you're close to something like that, and it's moving. And they talked about Ubisoft's Eagle game that's coming out, which name escapes me. Maybe it's just called Eagle Flight? And they said as you get close to buildings and things in that, it kind of puts up like on the sides of your screen like blinders almost, like um, a shadow, damn it, a shadow uh, on the sides, like a solid shadow that kind of helps you, your brain, tricks your brain into not feeling, you know, so queasy and whatnot. And uh, I've seen personally other games that do things. That you, I mean, if you don't really think about it, you probably wouldn't notice, but they do things specifically to keep you from getting ill. So, one example that I've seen is... Um, I.O. Moon. If you guys haven't seen that yet, it's an early access title that's only on Steam. We just kind of go around the planet in this little floating drone. And what it does is there's different, I mean, it has a bunch of different comfort options, which is nice. I like that developers give players options uh, because not everyone's comfort levels or brain is going to react the same to some of this stuff. Um, but what it does that's really nice is it, since the drone is around you, you can uh, see the drone as you move. And then in first person controls, it's not so bad because the drone is always constantly there with you and moving with you as an object and it, it just definitely it definitely helps with me and i could actually play that in first person really this game this game is not as bad as i expected for comfort levels of getting sick i, I feel pretty good here um, the only things that uh suck is uh I'm not gonna like turn around in my chair to do this. I'll just rather uh, redo it than deal with that shit. Um, the only time though that I felt kind of queasy is when I get real close to walls. And then I start moving fast. And... The other thing is, I don't understand how you, you know how long this tether's gonna stretch. Because it, does, it doesn't make it very clear to me. So far, not honestly, not a bad little experience. It kind of reminds me of uh, like if the 80s made a VR game that was just trippy as hell, or Mario 64 is an insane VR shooter. Kind of thing. Oh, I'm gonna break my neck. Honestly, for the most part, it doesn't really, like, do a whole lot VR-wise. Maybe, maybe I've just played so much VR now that it just doesn't impress me that much, depending on the game that I'm playing. But this, I just feel like I'm just aiming with my, and my head's a mouse. The only time that I really feel any, any VR, like, Reality feelings is when I get close to an object that moves fast. I clearly don't hate the game though. I'm still playing it, so it's not uh, completely terrible. I wouldn't even call it terrible. I, just, I wouldn't call it great simple
may not be the best uh, mechanically due to the whole arm reach grab thing of not knowing how long your arm's gonna you know, be out. Physics seem a little, a little confusing there to me. Again, this is early access games can change i mean it it definitely can get a lot more advanced than hold full loop on yoga things can definitely change hold full loop this eventually. Got a little distracted there. I don't know what the sound effect's supposed to be. Is this really hard for me to aim? I don't... I don't... It doesn't give you... It's kind of hard to tell when you should let go. Maybe I'm just terrible at video games now. It says to go a full loop. So we want a full loop. There we go. I just don't understand that. The physics seem almost random. I like the simple soundtrack. It's like it's like if an NES game had a love child with a modern day synth out. This game is kind of making my eyes hurt really more so than it's. So it actually does wrap you up. Hang on forever. But I was saying, yeah, this game is making my eyes hurt. My eyes usually don't hurt during the game, so. Nailed it. That said, I am being a bit more active than I usually would for most games. I'm just going for it. I, I usually go into games, you know, expecting them to be, like, I don't have, I try to keep my expectations low for games. Or not necessarily low, I try to have an open mind. And this one, honestly, I came in and I was like, this game's gonna be shit. This press release made it sound like it's gonna be awful and make me sick. I don't wanna be sick, trust me. When I got sick playing Albino Lullaby, it was like I was sick all day. Definitely was because of the game. It was not, you know, because they ate like a dirty old hot dog. I mean, the game plus my own experience or whatever. My own body's reaction. Yeehaw! It would help if I knew where the bell was. For real, where is the, the fuck is the bell? Oh, well, how the hell are we gonna go back that way? Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna restart because I'm not. I'm gonna have to scoot back in my chair because it's behind you. I'm gonna have to do a turnaround here. I did not expect to be doing any any sexercise today, if you know what I mean. If you do, let me know because I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Just the normal sound effect for a normal man doing normal man things. Hmm. <laughs>
Yeah, um, Swing Star VR, you can uh, go ahead and pay for my my neck surgery when I'm when I'm 60, because it's gone. It's completely gone. I have no neck now. I win! So there you go. Look out for more levels and characters coming soon. Try that to get a mouse with the Atari joystick. Uh, yeah. So that was Swing Star, which has a font that I feel like looks like Pokemon. Apparently there's a secret level you can get if you get 45 stars. I have a feeling I'll never get that. But yeah, that was Swing Star, so it's five bucks on the Oculus Store. Uh, early access, more to come. Uh, it's not bad. Not great. Not bad. A little, little experience if you're hungry for a game. Might not be a bad one to get. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'm Judd Whitaker, and I'll see you next time. Where's the button? Where's the button, Dad? <laughs>